Hello everyone, you are watching teachers and in this video I will show you how to write the program for week 5 problem number 1 problem solving through programming in C. So the question as it says is a perfect number uh, is a positive integer which is equal to the sum of its proper positive divisor. For example, 6 is a perfect number because it is proper divisors are 1, 2, 3 and its sum is equal to 6. So, we have to check whether a given number is a perfect number or not. So, the input part is already given in the, in the page. So, we will copy it in our program. So, now let's close the brackets for void main. Now, we will write the program. Okay. So, for this we will be needing some more variables integer i for running a loop. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we will run a loop from 1 to the number. So we will use a for loop. For i equals to 1, i smaller than equals to n which is our entered variable i plus plus so the code will be so we have to check whether the number or the loop number which is i is div is divisible or it can divide n so we will check if if the number n the number n is divisible or modulus i equals to equals to 0 so it will check whether it is divisible by i or not so if it is divisible by i we will take a variable sum comma sum initialize it as 0 because or else it will give you a garbage value so sum equals to sum plus i okay this is our main logic in this program. So now we will check if sum equals to equals to n, we will print out this. Just copy and paste it here. And or else. we will print this that it is not a perfect number let us copy the whole program from here and then paste it in a page and let's uh, compile it okay so we have a problem in line number 28 so there was a semicolon missing in this program let us check again and we have two test cases passed let us submit the program okay scored 100 out of 100 so let us see the next program. S write a C program to count total number of digits of an integer number n. If it is given 3456, it will the number 346 contain 4 digits. Okay, so we have to count the number of digits of an integer. It's a very simple program. One while loop will be enough. To write this program so let us copy it and make a new file which will be as number of digits dot c let us paste it here now we will write the program here so we will be needing a variable d to save the values okay so while 
the entered value n is not equals to 0 okay so we will not use n because we have to print n afterwards so we will use us another variable small n and we will replicate it as n equals to capital N so the value of capital N will be stored in small n now we will do n not equals to 0 till n not equals to 0 we will check a number d equals to d slash 10 and oh sorry d equals to d modulus 10 so it will store the last number and it will do c plus plus and n will be equals to n slash 10 it will eliminate the last digit from the number so let us check it after we give the print statement okay copy v okay so the value for this uh, counting of number or the variable for the counting of number is given as count so in place of c we will use count and in place of and here we will add another variable as count and it will initialize it as zero we can also skip this line to make it more compact and uh, delete this variable okay so let us now copy the program and paste it in our terminal and check whether it is running or not okay so the both test cases has been passed and let us submit it now okay so we got 100 out of 100 so the next three videos will be made in one video after or in the same day as of today so stay tuned subscribe to our, subscribe our channel and visit our website teachers which we, the link to the website will be given below where you can find programming videos such as python java in one place Please give a like and I will see you guys in the next video.